I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about nefaracetam as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Nefaracetam is a ras in the racetam family of nootropic compounds. It's a fat-soluble nootropic. The racetam class of nootropics have a pyrilidone nucleus at their core. And nefaracetam is a cholinergic compound, meaning it affects acetylcholine levels in the brain. Nefaracetam is used as a prescription drug in Japan, and it's sold as an over-the-counter, unrestricted compound in the United States, but not as a dietary supplement. One of the most recent synthetic nootropic compounds, it is known as a cognitive enhancer and is known for its anxiolytic or anti-anxiety effects. Nefaracetam is considered to be more potent than piracetam. And as a nootropic, it helps increase attention span, alertness, cognition, learning, and boost memory. Japanese-based pharmaceutical company Dachi Sayaku developed nefaracetam in the late 1990s as a derivative of piracetam. Nefaracetam is fat-soluble, while piracetam is water-soluble. Fat-soluble molecules cross the blood-brain barrier more easily than water-soluble molecules. Both nefaracetam and piracetam are cognitive enhancers, and both have neuroprotective qualities. Both racetams are able to improve learning and memory, and both are able to prevent brain damage. Nefaracetam has additional benefits not shared with piracetam. Nefaracetam can reduce anxiety and depression and exhibits several other memory enhancing qualities over paracetam. Nefaracetam increases the amount of time calcium channels and neurons remain open. Tied to protein kinase A and the G alpha subunit protein Signaling is enha enhanced in the neuroreceptor independent of the synapse. This calcium channel pathway is critical for long-term potentiation and the formation of long-term memories. Nefaracetam also potentiates protein kinase C alpha, which is involved in long-term potentiation. PKCA is dependent on glutamate signaling. And Nefaracetam activates uh, CAMK2, which is a protein, and it's critical for memory formation. It's mainly dependent on glutamate signaling. And finally, nefaracetam potentiates acetylcholine receptors in the hippocampus, which encourages glutamate release and long-term potentiation. Paracetam does not share this memory-enhancing quality. The bottom line is nefaracetam seems to be a much more potent memory enhancer than the original nootropic paracetam. Well, first, nefaracetam enhances memory. In several studies and clinical trials, researchers have noted nefaracetam's anti-amnesia effects. And they've arrived at this observation by noting nefaracetam interacting with individual acetylcholine receptors in the brain. One study conducted at Albert Einstein Healthcare Network in Philadelphia worked with older rabbits. Researchers used a technique called nicotating membrane eye blink response in rabbits, which is used in the lab to study age-related memory disorders. In this case, the team used nefaracetam to study its effect on retention and relearning. The scientists administered 5, 10, or 15 milligrams per kilogram of nefaracetam to 34 retired rabbits. I'm not sure what they've retired from, but these were retired rabbits over 45 days. And then tested retention and relearning 1, 5, and 12 weeks post-training. The researchers found that the effect of nefaracetam on the ability of older rabbits to relearn was apparent up to 5 weeks after using nefaracetam. In other words, nefaracetam has had a significant effect on memory long after the rabbit stopped using it. The researchers concluded that nefaracetam likely has an even greater effect on memory the longer you use it. 
This testing model is dependent on cholinergic or acetylcholine firing in the brain. And the second way, nefiracetam uh, alleviates depression. Nefiracetam enhances the signaling of GABA on GABA-A receptors when GABA is low and has a suppressive effect when GABA is too high, leading to stabilized mood and sociability. No mood swings. Nefiracetam also produces an antidepressant effect activating the enzyme CAMK2, which we mentioned before. The scientists in Japan worked with uh, mice with depressive-like behaviors. The mice were given one milligram per kilogram per day of nefiracetam and noticed antidepressant effects within a day of supplementation. Now note that this antidepressant effect takes a completely different approach to controlling depression compared to SSRIs. These prescription antidepressants mess with serotonin levels in your brain to control depression and come with a host of side effects. Also note that the CAMK2 enzyme is associated with long-term memory formation. Nefiracetam modulates GABA in your brain. GABA is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. Its role is to keep glutamate, the primary excitatory neurotransmitter, from overwhelming your brain and causing damage. When GABA levels are too low, you experience anxiety, insomnia, poor mood, and restlessness. And if it's left unchecked, it can lead to neurodegenerative disease and a very poor quality of life. But when GABA is too high, you have a toxic environment in your brain, causing damage to neurons and other areas of your brain. Nefiracetam modulates GABA levels, keeping them steady for a healthy brain and improved long-term memory. Nefiracetam contributes to learning by enhancing long-term potentiation, or LTP. Enhancing NMDA-dependent LTP at low concentrations and AMPA-dependent LTP at higher concentrations. Nefiracetam combined with choline boosts the production of the crucial neurotransmitter acetylcholine, improving memory, recall, and focus. Nefiracetam is fat-soluble and quickly enters your brain after you take it. Once in your brain, it boosts signal transmission and protects neurons. Nefiracetam boosts acetylcholine, so you should use it with a good choline source. You can try alpha-GPC or CDP choline with nefiracetam and give your brain the choline that it needs. Several studies have noted that short-term or one-time use of nefiracetam doesn't do too much. But supplementing nefiracetam every day for seven days or more is needed to experience the full benefit of this nootropic. Now this is what new nootropics users report. Nefiracetam is a study aid. Nefiracetam produces calm focus, recall, and cognition for many neurohackers it improves attention span, motivation, and alleviates apathy and mental fatigue. Increased visual acuity. The visual effects of nefiracetam feel like your brain is processing a broader spectrum of whatever is in your visual range. Nature and your surroundings look more vibrant and beautiful. And mood. Many users report a calm focus and being able to articulate thoughts and improved speaking ability. Language and your vocabulary seem to flow effortlessly. Thoughts come with much less effort. Some experienced users of aniracetam say they prefer nefiracetam. Now you may recall that the chemical structure of nefiracetam is very similar to aniracetam. And the clinical studies support the superior ability to boost memory. You should be able to experience the full effects of nefiracetam within seven days of starting to supplement with it. It's fat soluble so it digests and enters your cells quickly. Nefiracetam was developed by a company in Japan in the late 1990s. As a result, the majority of the published research available in Western directories was conducted in Japan 
and most of it on rats and mice. Clinical trials for nefiracetam have been conducted in China and the USA for use on treating Alzheimer's disease. So far, no large pharmaceutical company in the USA has formulated a prescription drug version of nefiracetam, not as far as I know. Now, if you'd like to see more detailed studies on nefiracetam, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for nefiracetam, or click on the link below this video. I've got clinical studies there for nefiracetam as an antidepressant, nefiracetam and how it improves learning and memory, and I've got another study on how nefiracetam reduces apathy. So to check out these clinical studies in more detail, go to Nootropics Expert and search for nefiracetam. Recommended nefiracetam dosage is 100 to 900 milligrams per day, taken in divided doses. One nefiracetam dose in the morning and one in the early afternoon. Nefiracetam is sold in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Tablet and capsules are usually 400 to 600 milligrams each. Now since nefiracetam is a fat-soluble nootropic, you should take it with a meal containing healthy fats. Or with a tablespoon of extra virgin expeller, cold pressed coconut or olive oil, or other similar healthy fat, just to ensure quick absorption. Nefiracetam also boosts acetylcholine activity in your brain. To avoid a racetam headache, make sure that you stack nefiracetam with a good choline source like CDP choline or alpha GPC. And please note that most studies suggest, and many neurohackers report, that it will take at least seven days of daily dosing of nefiracetam to experience the full benefit of this nootropic. Don't take it once and expect to see good results. Nefiracetam is non-toxic, so is considered well-tolerated and safe. Side effects are rare but can include anxiety, fatigue, headaches, nervousness, and nausea. Side effects are often a result of using unusually high doses of this nootropic. Headaches from using nefiracetam typically happen when you forget to combine it with a good choline supplement. Headaches are often a symptom of a choline deficit in your brain. And nearly all of the toxicity studies on nefiracetam have been done on animals and prolonged usage of this nootropic have shown no toxic effects at the recommended doses. Now one study with male beagle dogs reported a reduction in testicular testosterone after a single treatment of nefiracetam. But before, guys, before you write this nootropic off, note that the dose was a ridiculous, a 180 or 300 milligrams per kilogram of weight. That's the equivalent of 16 to 27 grams of nefiracetam for a 200 pound uh, male human. And dogs happen to metabolize nefiracetam different than humans and primates. The metabolite M18 in dogs seems to be the culprit and is not found in humans or monkeys. Now I'm not going to belabor this point but just to say that nefiracetam is safe and non-toxic if used at recommended doses. Just please don't give it to your dog. Nefiracetam is sold in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Tablets and capsules are usually 400 to 600 milligrams each. So my nootropics expert recommendation for nefiracetam is 100 to 900 milligrams per day. And that's my report on nefiracetam. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for nefiracetam. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using nefiracetam, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman.
author of Nootropics Expert.